Uh, match four, yes, I'd like to go first. Ah, man, we keep we keep getting these hands that we can't keep. This hand's much better. This is a tempered... This is a turn one tempered steel. Right, because we'll go Glimmer Void, Mox. This is a turn one tempered steel. That's insane. No big deal. Turn one five power. Now my opponent will wreck me, I'm sure. But that was satisfying. If we lose this match, I was able to turn one to Tempered Steel, and that's fun. Alright, drawing a Dark Steel is not awesome. But it does set us up for some... Now, well, now every card in our deck is online. Uh, maybe Grixis Control, Grixis Delver. Simeon Spirit Guide, Faithless Looting. It's it's none of the two decks I just mentioned. Maybe it's Corios. Like, maybe despite our super sweet start, we just lose. Oh my god, it is. Just despite our super sweet start, we just lose. Oh man, what a beating. <laughs> what a beating. Okay, well, nothing we can do about this. What's the Annihilator? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well. Uh, I wish we could have said turn one, against most decks, a turn one tempered steel. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six. Okay. Against most decks, a turn one tempered steel would have been unbeatable, but against Imrakul, it is not. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I mean, he still, he has to do it one more time, right? To win. Man. What is this? Legacy? Okay. This is... That was silly. That was... Just silly. He still has to come up with a way to finish me off, though, fortunately. But that was sweet. The turn the, the turn one uh, tempered steel was very sweet. Uh, like I said, against any fair deck, that would have been more than enough. Alright, Ornithopter, come on. All right, that is a start. I don't believe this deck plays Bolt, and if it does, I mean, we've kind of already lost the game anyway, so no reason to not do that, in my opinion. Like we're, we're basically playing the game on borrowed time at this point. Man. All right. I like having a land, because that means I can attack with this. Wow, just wrecked. Re wrecked literally, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to keep going on about it. Wrecked in like literally the only way I could have been wrecked. Which was a turn to Imrakul. Yeah, just gonna keep looting here. Doesn't look like he's looted anything too awful, though. I'm assuming this is the flashback, the, uh, yeah, the Faithless. Fortunately, we're, we're packing some serious graveyard hate. So games two and three should be a little bit better. Certainly a start. Okay. 
games two and three, I say it like it's a for sure thing. I mean, my opponent doesn't have anything right here. Double anticipate, okay. He's got to find a way to discard and... Okay, Mim Knight, not unhappy about that. So do I swing two here? Yes. I'll only swing two. So five, six. Hmm. The additional dispatches will be good against Grizzled Brand. Wow, this game's actually really close. My opponent has to win this turn. He, he, if this is a Grizzled Brand, he can't do anything with it. I don't know, pretty, pretty interesting game to... Okay, through the breach into... If it's... Okay, well, good thing I have the Ornithopter. So I got two Fury of the Hordes in his graveyard. Oh, man, if I had an Arcbound... If only I had an Arcbound. Because then I could deny him the... Uh, if I had an arc bound or, or some sort of removal spell. Yeah, he's going to get to draw seven. He's got to draw Fury of the Horde, though. And, you know, he might not. Did he not? Doesn't look like it. This is a bolt. Faithless looting. Okay. I don't think this deck has a bolt. I feel like you would have done it already. Shallow Grave doesn't matter much, or Gorios, because he has to exile the Behemoth in the next instep. If he had done that on my instep, instead of his main, that would have gone a little better. I mean, his attack phase is already over. What a game. What is can he can he win? Let's see, what exactly does Fury of the Horde say? Oh it's gone, so I don't know. Oh my god, we I won that game. That is crazy. Woo, what a game. Um wow. I gotta just like take a breath here for a second. Okay, cool. Um Wow. Uh, Graveyard Hate, right? Uh, Graft Diggers, Ether Sworn. Those three cards are going to be very, very good if I get draw them. Uh, the additional dispatches only help against the Grizzle brand, so I'm not sure if it's worth it to bring it in. Uh, Tempered Steel was amazing that game, and I think maybe one of the big reasons I won, but a little too slow. Spellskite does absolutely nothing in this match, so we'll take it out. Maybe take out the Steel Overseer for an additional two dispatches. Alright, man. Whew. Let's see how this one goes, now that we have access to our sideboard hate. I... I... Now, do, do you mulligan to Graft Diggers? Or... Like, since I'm on the, the, the draw here, going down to a... Um, the rest in peace doesn't really seem that great 
And, like, this hand would be fine against most, but my opponent has mulligan. I will also mulligan. Okay, and there we go. There we go. Perfect. It was a gamble, and it paid off. So, basically, got a slam grab figures. And it worked. So, maybe I can fade a couple turns here and build up. Of course, maybe he has a backup plan, you know, I don't know. Anticipate in response to Spring Leaf. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play my Mim Knight and my Vault Scourge and hold up my dispatch. That's useless against Emrakul, Cool, but probably pretty good against most other things. Against Grizzle Brand if he manages to somehow destroy my graph diggers and get that into play. Well, I'm going to have to let my defenses down for a turn. Turn here to play an etched and get a better clock on the board. But I'm not sure my opponent has any way of dealing with this graph diggers. I mean, I guess there's like Shattering Spree or Shatter Storm. But I, you can't play around the combo forever, especially when I have a, a hard piece of hate out. Oh, right, there's Through the Breach. Of course. That doesn't stop this at all. Alright, so now I just lose because of my hubris. Yeah, I, I should not have played the etch champion. I should have remembered through the breach. My opponent's got a hit. Got a hit, though. He hit. Yeah, all right. This was this is my hubris, but very satisfying to win that other game. So I just, just got to do it one more time. I had the perfect hand and I blew it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we'll just keep it as is. Uh, yes, I'll play first. Uh, this hand is good against Grizzle Brand, so I'm going to keep it. It does mean I can't actually attack with this signal. Oh, now I can. Yeah, I had the perfect hand, and I took my shields down, and it was a card I could totally have dealt with, and that's not fun, but what can you do? But we're on the two damage plan until my opponent does something. And hopefully he's on the grizzle on the on the grizzle brand plan and not the emrakul plan this game. If he's is it charming? That makes me think it's probably the grizzle brand the grizzle brand plan. Oh, maybe not. But he well the emrakul is no longer in his hand, so that's good. Hoping I can tag a Grizzle Brand this turn. And that that wasn't like a redundant and real cool. Thoughtsees himself. Okay, to to get rid of Degorio's vengeance and Rickle. Alright. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, hmm. Protection from colored spells. Well, we just gotta hope we get lucky again, I guess. But you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even keep my Glimmer Void, unfortunately. Let's keep the Midnight. Maybe that's wrong, but... I just need to draw like a Dark Steel Citadel or something. My opponent has threw the breach in his hand, so this game might pretty much is pretty probably pretty much over. Maybe he's like I don't think he has Simian Spirit. Oh he does. Oh he's just playing it? Okay. Hilarious. Uh so now I can't really attack anymore. Oh man, this bites. I need to draw like a zero draw for a land. But I do have a couple turns, so I will take two here. Ornithopter, good. Having two dispatches is great. Engineered for zero. Oh, that's just gonna. Well, that's really putting a damper on my day. Let's wait till he actually pops it though. Dispatch. Man. No, I probably can't win. Alright, that's a start. More dispatches. Can't do anything yet, but more dispatches is probably good. Gonna do it. Cause like like in the first game, just living on borrowed time here. Is it a counter spell? Oh, okay, loot. Yeah, I heavily punted game two, and I'm still kind of kicking myself over it. Ben's two gristle brands, so maybe I punted this game as well. Because if he has Gorya's, it's over. Doesn't look to be the case, though. Oh, man. So... Well, now it's like, uh, I'm going to go for it. I have to. I have to go for it. I can't give my opponent like, like a combo deck all the time in the world here to beat me. Because his deck wins when I do nothing. If this is an Is It Charm, I mean, I'll, I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate. Because now I have no creatures to defend myself with. I'm pretty sure he has a Through the Breach in his hand, so maybe he's got another Ember Pool. Yep. 
Okay, no matter what this through the breach is for. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and concede. Well, that was fun. Um, I won a game I shouldn't have. I lost the game I should have, and then things sort of proceeded from there. So let's we'll do one more. 